to come to your home today via this medium. I am so thrilled and so excited to present to you one of God's wonderful children who has come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior. Upon a, a brother who exceeds all my expectations of hearing of the transforming power of the gospel and the truth as reflected in a person's life. Pandit Dharan Prakash Sharma from Rajasthan. He was the son of the chief priest of Pushkar. Now, for you to understand what Pushkar is, what the Vatican is to the Holy Roman Catholic Church, sure, sure. Pushkar is to the Hindus. It's the holiest of holies. It's the destination of the righteous. It's the place of the lotus flower, the place of new beginnings, the place where nirvana begins and ends for some. He was born in that state, raised in a Hindu family. And to tell us more about it, would you welcome with me Pandit Dharan Prakash Sharma? Thank you. Pandit, it is so wonderful to have you. I read your testimony in this book, sure. and I will be asking you a few questions from Yes, brother. It's a privilege for me. As I read your story, uh, you said you were a Brahmin. Yes. Could you tell me a little more about what it means to be a Brahmin? Are you still a Brahmin? Can you be a Christian and a Brahmin at the same time? Yes, of course. In the Vedanta philosophy, Brahmin means who are born of God, who are spokesmen of God, who represent God. And God, the truth, came and revealed it in the life of Jesus Christ in this world. So when I'm a new creation in Christ, I'm a stinch Brahmin still today as before I was formerly. That all rivers lead to the one sea. Yes. Would you say that that one C is Jesus Christ? Yes, that C is Jesus Christ. Amen. So let the rivers come. Yes. They will end up, end up there. in the eternal fountain yes. of life. Yes, yes. Jesus Christ. It's wonderful. That's wonderful. But it was not that easy for you to find Jesus Christ. For 25 years, yes. you have searched yes. and searched. Tell me one of the two things that you have searched, like, you know, communism... Zoroastrianism, yes. Sikhism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam. Well, what's your journey like there briefly? The main purpose of my journey was to seek the personal life, personal encounter with a living God. And that was my thirst and hunger in my life. So when the journey started from very childhood, when I asked my mother, who is God? And she said, he is the live, love incarnate of the living God. And he can become real to you. So I was in search of that living God. So when I entered into, when I searched through the Vedantas, then to the Islam, then further to Buddhism, there everything was there. Philosophies were there. But not the personal encounter and personal incarnation of the living God in my life. That is through love only in Jesus Christ I found. And where I found, I experienced it and it, it changed my life. Because life changes a life. His life changed my life. Then I can just prophesy and then I, I, I can bear a testimony that Jesus Christ is the only Savior and in Him we receive the life of God. Amen. I, reading your life story, I wept. I wept because you were looking for a Christian a real model, yes. an example of the Sermon on the Mount, yes. and you couldn't find it. One of the things that made me laugh and cry was when you went to college, you met a young man who said he was a Christian, yes. and you wanted to prove if he was a real Christian. Yes. What did you do to him? I just slapped him. You slapped him? Yes, <laughs> and I said, what was the response? Uh -huh. He murmured. He murmured. He just blamed me, and he cried. Why you have slept me? What authority you can have? Then I thought, where is that life of Sermon on the Mount? Again, I have mentioned... And then, then I think he kicked you. Yes, he kicked yes, me. Yes, he kicked you on that 
that made you realize yes. this couldn't be a real yes. Christian because he's not turning the church. I've been to churches. In front of my college, there was a church, church of England. Mm -hmm. I used to go in the morning as a son of the Brahmin. I used to have a holy bath every morning. And then I used to go on the Sunday through the church with a with the holiness and with a hunger thirst to mm -hmm. see the truth. Mm -hmm. There are just phenomenal things for there. The so past, so past, even the church, you couldn't find no, no, no. life and truth that you were longing for. Without the presence of the living life of the Christ, it may be church, it may be Christianity, it may be anywhere. Mm -hmm. We cannot find that truth except the life of Christ. In Christ, we get everything. Amen. Now, what also makes me uh, curious is that you were a movie star. When I look at your picture, it's a little different from what you are now, right? <laughs> I'm a new creation yes. of the Lord now. <laughs> <laughs> you had hair yes. then, and yes. a, uh, a very handsome. Yes. And that posed some problems for you too, because the girls were attracted oh, yes. to you. You, you had fame yes, yes, and yes, yes, fortune. Yes, yes. You were a great businessman. Tell us a little bit about, about your film career, your business career, your uh, pursuit after peace in communism, in politics, even with as far as meeting Miss Indira Gandhi. Yes. Actually, my life remained, uh, the God made it possible that he showed me the pinnacles of the world. He took me to every corner of the world and he showed me, just see this life. Can you go through that? And in the end, I found that no, this is not the fulfillment. Till that time when I had not reached to the highest salvation and peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I was just in the college, a very normal student, an intelligent, outstanding student. I was a poet in Hindi literature. So in a Kavi Sambhalan poetic recital, one morning, one evening, the famous film star Bharat Bhushan, he came as the president of the Kavi Sammelan. He said, Hindi ke andar, English mein, Kavi Sammelan kehte hai, English mein. Then he heard my poems and my sonnets. And he liked them. And he called me to his resting place where he was staying in Ajmer. And he called me, why don't you be a guest to me in Bombay? Hmm. I never thought before that I will go to the film industry. I had the liking for the dramas and plays in the college, but I never thought about film industry. Without my effort, the film industry came to my feet. Then I was a journalist. I was accepted by the Film Fair magazine, and the editor of the Film Fair, he showed me all the love and comfort that I may be with him. So I started just editing the Film Fair magazine. And that magazine made me possible that all the people of the film industry, they used to come in my touch, and I started having good films. The leading directors like Kamal Amrui, director like Mahesh Kaul, director like Shantaram, V. Shantaram, they gave their films to me as a leading man. But God gave me that experience. I saw the plethora of life, a life of sex, a life of this fresh, everything I saw there, but the Lord kept me untouched. Let's, let's go back a few pages. Yes. You were born in jail. Yes which is symbolic of the prison that all men are born in spiritually. Yes, that's true. Tell me a little bit about your jail experience, both physical, religious, and spiritual sure. jail. Well, uh, in flesh I was born in the jail. My father was in jail and my mother was, she was the Congress worker in Uttar Pradesh. She was the head of the Women's Congress in Uttar Pradesh. So she was in the jail with the mother of uh, Mrs. Gandhi. Kamala Nehru was in the jail and the grandmother of Chidamandi Indira Gandhi, Jawala's mother, Surubhar Nehru, they were in jail together. So when my mother was pregnant, it was prayed to the British government that she should be, rele she should be released from the jail because she is pregnant and she is going to give an issue. But the government refused to, the jail authorities refused to release her because she was so dangerous for the British government in freedom movement. So, she conceived, she was there in the jail, and I took birth in the jail. So it was in flesh, I was in jail. When I came out, I found that I am jail. Because spiritually I found myself surrounded with the lust of life. I remember one thing. And you are a Brahmin in all of this? Yes. Not a Brahmin, a chief priest son, Mahabrahman. Even bigger? Bigger than that. 
Uh, even the Shankaracharyas of four Shankaracharyas of India, they, they used to wash the father's feet and drink that water. Oh my, you mean literally wash your father's feet and drink the water? That Achman. What would that, how would that help them? No, it is a respect. Oh, it's respect. Showing the respect, yes. Hmm. One mention, I was a very religious man. Once I was doing sun worshipping, sun worshipping and sun sadhana. That is, every Saturday evening when the sun sets, I used to stand on one leg. And I used to chant uh, Gayatri Mantra, Om Bhurva Swa Tat Savitur Varanya, that the life of sun, the glorious life of sun may come into me. Mm -hmm. And I kept whole night on feet, one feet. The all whole, night long? All night long. You stood on one foot? One feet. And the whole Sunday, whole Sunday till oh. evening, the evening on Saturday, Sunday evening, when I finished the sadhana and I ate something as fruits and some nuts and went out to walk around. So it was a rainy evening. There were some muds on the road. When I was walking, a little kid came and he fell down on the bicycle. And his, the tire of the bicycle that touched my dhoti, a white dhoti, and that mud just uh, touched my dhoti. And it was, you know, in a bad mm -hmm. shape. The mud touched and the, everything was dirty. So instead of sadhana and instead of a humble nature, I just took his ear and I took him up and I said, Bhyoku, tujhe gaadi chalana nahi hata. Oh foolish boy, you don't know how to bicycle. And he was fearful. He ran from there. Then one, somebody from inside asked me, are you Brahmin? Are you doing sadhana? Is it sin or it is religiousness? And there said, you are lost man. You may do anything in the flesh. You are still lost man. You are in jail and you are prison. Mm. In the bondage of sin and flesh. Wow. So let's, let's stay on this point of the jail. You were born in a jail and spiritually speaking, when I, we're all born in Satan's yes, prison. Yes, we are. We are. The word says, all have sinned. I have come short of the glory of God. Amen. Romans and, 3, 30, 23. And we use religion as yes. a ladder yes, to come yes. out of the prison. Yes. But the ladder can't take us no, out. No, 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 no. Because although you were out of a physical yes, prison, yes. you found yourself in another prison. Of course, of course. Everybody. Hmm. So what is the way to come out of that spirit? Only Lord Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ. That made it possible for me. I never thought like that. But when I came to him, he became, he, he was a new creation for me. He changed everything for me. Now, let's go, how to, let's go back to see how this change happened. Sure. You were a film star and, and, and very, uh, I wouldn't say proud, but very uh, proud, proud about oh, it. Oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Because, of course. Uh, and you were handsome, you were wealthy. And without doing any labor, I got everything. You, right, you, you were famous. Great father, military genius with Gandhi. Yes, yes. Your mother, a yes. military prisoner, political prisoner. Have you wonderful background? Uh, you had a four-story house at least. Yes, sure. And uh, there was a little, young, skinny girl that you met on the street one day. Yes. And you walked up to her. Yes. And what did you say to her? Can you marry me? <laughs> you <laughs> just walked up to her. Yes. A girl you never no, no. knew, and it was not practical no. and customary and no. cultural respect not at all. that you should go and approach a girl on the street. No. But just a Brahmin. Never knew what, what she is. Never knew what she is. A cheap son having high hopes. My parents, they had a high hopes of me. They had a very honorable and very respected background in the family there. And still I did that. Yes. But you felt driven to do that. Yes, driven it, to it, do that. It wasn't just because you had so many beautiful women to choose. Oh, yes. So oh, many yes. affluent, oh. rich people in high positions that you could have easily gotten married. Yes, yes. But something divine and supernatural yes. drew you You're to sure. this in sure. conspicuous person. Yes, sir. And then you had the audacity yes. and the boldness to look at her and sure. say, will you marry me? Yes. And what she said to you. And she refused. She refused. When I went to her home. I, I talked to her father. She refused you seven times in one Yes, seven day. times. Seven times. <laughs> and by automatically then the Lord sent her to me. 
Yes. One day, she came to you. Yes, after ten days she came. Can you marry? I I can marry you. She said, God gave me permission. Yes. Yes. To marry My God you. has yeah. asked me to marry you. Wow. And she didn't really care what was your status. She was a humble girl. Oh yes. And then you didn't tell your parents. I, I took her to my mother. Yeah. And my mother said, "What hell you are doing?" <laughs> what hell are you? I said, "I don't know. Something has constrained me inside, mm -hmm. and I have accepted her." And in three days, she changed the mind of my mother and father. Okay, but, but before that, they rejected her. Oh yes, she, they, they, they she, 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 they, they gave her, they gave no response to her at all. Right, and they she, condemned she, you she, for that. She was treated like a maid servant. And they rebuked you. Oh yes, saying, why did you do this? My mother said, instead of doing that, you should have, sh you should have died in the in the childhood only. Oh my, she said you should have died in the womb. In the womb. Because you have brought yes, such yes, disgrace such. upon them to marry, especially a poor, unknown Christian girl. Yes. And what will happen to the chief priest's son in the, in the society? Yes, your parents in the, are the concerned dynasty about your future, the, your society, the, your status in, the, in life. In the dynasty. And there you went and let them down by marrying a girl that had no class, no caste, no culture, no money, nothing. And that was the plan of the God. That was the plan of the Lord. Yes. Because as we will see, 13 years she oh, served yes. you and you abused her. She served me as Christ himself. Now you were searching for a model Christian. Yes. Where did you find it? In her life. In her life. What's after, her name? After much persecution, she, her name is Asha. Asha means? Hope. Hope. And you took that to mean that hope has come into your world. Yes. And that hope is fulfilled in Jesus Christ now for me. Because Jesus Christ is the hope of glory for us. Yes. And she became the hope of glory in Jesus Christ for me. Now tell me some of the things that your wife used to do for you that stunned you and made you know that she was beyond the ordinary Christian. First night when she was in my house, first night, she was in a different room because I never had any lucration for flesh or as a wife. She was just, I don't know why I asked for to be a companion of my life. So she was just sleeping in the side by room and I was in another room. In the morning when I woke up at 4 o'clock, I saw she was not in her bed, on her bed. I thought she's a Christian girl, probably she may have run out. <laughs> With the position that's the, she that, was that, getting, that's, yes. that's the thinking of Indians. Mm -hmm. The Christian girls are not faithful. So when I searched into the room, she was not there. I thought probably she was just a blessing to me and she has run down. When I went to the side by room in the veranda, she was just on her knees. And the Bible was with her and it opened and she was weeping. And she said, Lord, for what purpose you have brought me over, please go ahead with that and accomplish that because I am here into your commandments. And she was weeping and praying. And for two hours she was in prayer. I thought, what a girl is. Such a prayer because I am a Hindu and a staunch Hindu and a worshipper of the God, but I never knew how to pray like that. It's such a devotion with a, such a surrendered life. Let me break in here and talk to the audience. If you have a husband or a wife who is not a believer, but you are a believer, I want you to hear the continuing of this testimony how faithfulness to God and continuous prayer can save your entire household. Yes, we have to, we have, we have to live that life. So Asha lived that life. That life you. lived. She did. Now, one thing really broke your heart was when the World Bank team had yes, come. Yes, yes, sure. And you were going to... I was in Calcutta. World. I was with Bilaz in Calcutta. Bilaz is equal to the Rockefellers sure, in sure, America. Sure, Very sure, wealthy, sure, sure. probably like the Tatas. Yes, yes. Great wealth and, and, and fame. Yes. And they had invited you to sit at that Yes, the World conference. Bank team was there. Chairman was there. And we, we had a evening dinner and discussions in that, at that day. So in the morning when I was preparing for the office, that was wonderful. She used to polish my shoes. She used to make me to wear the shoes. She helped me in wearing the shoes. She used to put me the coat over. She used to tie my ties. And everything she used to did as a servant to me. And that day she was doing and she was just sitting on the ground. 
on the Kaleen and she was just tying my shoes. And she was saying slowly, lovingly, Ashamko Aap Jaldi Hai, please this evening you come early. I said, no, I cannot come early because I will be with the World Bank team and we have a dinner there in the hotel. So she said, no, my God will bring you early in this, that evening. Manika, what, what for? There is a servant of God who has come over here in Calcutta and we want to meet him. So I will take you to the servant of God. She was talking about the Bhak Singh, the great revivalist and the spiritual man. Yes. It's a great servant of the Lord. I you, were, you were getting angry while she was talking. What did you do when you got angry? I said, so then she said, I said, no, I cannot come. Then she said, no, my God will bring you. I said, I will be with the World Bank and your God and your brother Bhak Singh will bring me. And World Bank team will wait for me. I, it is not possible. Then she said, no, my God is going to, definitely is going to bring you. Then in anger, on her, that great confirmation belief, I just went, she was just tying my shoes. One shoe I just threw, with a leg I threw towards her. And that touched here. And that cut it here. In her you kicked her chin. in the neck. Neck. And it began chin. to bleed. Chin. Chin. Chin was just right hurt, here. and it started building. Hmm. What she did, she never just had any. She didn't get angry. No, any complaint, not at all. She just loved on my shoes. She just kept on tying your shoes. Yes, and she and tied the my blood shoes. Was coming down her sari. Oh, she, it was just flowing out of her saris. Oh. And she stood lovingly and she kissed me and said, oh. "Please don't be angry." How could you fight against that kind of love? coming through a human that you have so abused and... My mother came running and she saw the blood. She said, Bahu kya ho gaya? What happened to girl? She said, nothing. It is the love of God. And she took me, make me to stand. He, she took my briefcase. She took my hand key. He, she brought me to the car side. And when the chauffeur asked her, Mim sahab, what happened to you? Why blood is coming? Then she said, her, his name was Mohammed. Mohammed, it is God's love. It's God's love. Mm. She set me in the car and said, go, you are going to come in the evening, the God will bring you. Okay, so you went and providentially they canceled the evening dinner. Yes. They finished at four o'clock. Yes, yes. The, the leader was not feeling well yes. and you were free to, yes. to come. But yes. you reached late. You didn't get to meet Brother Bhak Singh at yes. that time. Yes. But then you picked up a book. Yes. The saffron robe. Yes. Of Sadhu Sundar Singh. Sadhu Sundar Singh. Yes. What a testimony. What oh. a journey. A Sikh. Yes. Converted by going on the railroad tracks. Yes. Um, and wanting to commit suicide because he wanted to yes. know he, if, if God is real. Yes. Appeared yes. to him. Yes. Jesus appeared to him. Yes. And converted him. He donned the saffron robe and became a, a teacher throughout the land. You read that book and yes. it impacted oh, you. Oh, yes. But there was something that was happening in your life right at the moment when you read that book. What happened? You heard a voice. Immediately the Lord started talking to me. You heard a voice. Yes, the Lord. I heard the voice. How long you will, he will persecute me? How long you will run from me? Still I love you. Hmm. And then I came to the Lord. Now, this is 25 years of searching and seeking. Yes, after that. You, you tried Hinduism and all the holy books. Yes. The Ramayana. Not only Hindu. Your mother used to read the Ramayana. Whole Vedanta, whole Vedanta. The whole Vedanta, all the philosophies, yes, all yes. the doctrines. You searched them. You explored them. Yes. They didn't satisfy you. Yes. You went to your friends at, in the Islamic sure, movement. Sure. You read the Quran. Yes. And you couldn't find the perfect one. Glimpses were there, Glimpses, but not the realization. Shadows. Yes. But the substance was yes. not there. Yes. And so you continued your search. You went to Russia. Yes. To study in the film yes. academy. Yes. And then you discovered Lenin. Yes. And Marxism. And you tried to even incorporate some of a that good, into a good, good, good communist in India. Yes. I thought too. So what we are saying in summary here is that you searched. Yes. And you were fair in your conclusions. Yes. You were not biased. As no. a matter of fact, you kept saying in your book, you don't want to no. be a Christian. My life was a research to seek the truth. And that was fulfilled in my wife's life. On that day in Calcutta, 
when she, I was going to the office and one blood was just flowing out of her chin and she said, I love you. God loves you. And she bid me bye. And I, my car started. Then I thought, what is she, women? Is it not the wife of Christ? Hmm. So if she loves me like that, so how much the Christ loves to me? Yes. How much the God loves to if me? If a woman me. and he came real to you. Yes. And he said, yet I love you. You can do anything for me, but still I love you. Hmm. And what did you do at that time? I surrendered my life. You surrendered yes. your life? Yes. His com hands of compassion, they came to me. Ah. They surrounded me. And I just fell, surrendered my life. The great Brahman, the son of the priest of Pushkar, oh. the film actor, the successful businessman. Yes, a politician. The politician. The drunkard. Drunkard. The liar. Oh, yes. The womanizer. Everything, everything, everything. Everything that you confessed. Yes. You did. A little unknown woman filled with the life of Christ. Sure. A living, walking Bible. A demonstration of God's love. Wonderful. Was the Bible you read every in her day life, in for her life, 13 in her, years. In her life. By persecuting, by rejecting. You rejected her, you... You scorned More and more I God. rejected, more and more the life of God became real to me. The more you criticize her yes, Jesus and yes. the more you rejected the Lord sure. is the more love she threw on oh, you. Oh, yes. What an example. Oh, it's what part of God's example. providence, God's providence. Amen. Okay, so you accepted the Lord and finally you got baptized by yes. the great leader, yes. Hak Singh. Hak Singh. Yes. What a joy. Yes. And uh, ever since then... Yes, brother. Ever since then, what has been happening in your life? I'm, I'm for him only, for him only. Everything, just they, they vanished away from life. You Everything you just... gave it up? No, I never gave up. They all just turned out of me. Oh, they left you? Vanished. Just as they came in, Yes. they walked out. At 1 Corinthians verse 5, chapter 5, verse 17 says, Behold, in Christ all things have become mm -hmm. new. new. That, that happened to me. Okay. Christ is the only fulfillment. In Vedanta, in Bhavish Purana, it is very well said, Ish Samasi Itich Manam Samyadhan, Ish Murti Ish Pratam. So the message in Vedanta itself is that Jesus Christ is the only fulfillment in incarnation of Are God. Are you saying that that's in the Vedas? Yes, of course. It is before writing of the, from the book of Isaiah, the forecast is in the Vedas about Jesus Christ. And before that, in Rig Veda, Prajapati Yagyashi Shastram, that is a forecast in Vedas. Who is Prajapati? The creator God will be the shepherd. The creator God will be the sheep himself. The weather God himself will be the sacrifice. And he will be the high priest also to make the sacrifice. So everything that the Bible speaks about Jesus Christ is all, can be found yes, in, Vedanta. in the Vedas. In the Vedanta. So why... Some people have missed that connection. Why have they not looked for the 24th avatar? They just look into the ritualities. And their eyes are blinded. Yes. Because they only see limited. And they never are in the inner. So you made the step from the 23rd yes. to the 24th. 24th. Jesus Christ. Yes. The final revelation. Yes. The fullest revelation, fullest revelation, the purest revelation Purnavatara. of God himself, yes. creator, yes. Brahma, yes. Bhagwan. First, uh, the Colossians chapter 2nd, verse 9 and 10, very clear. He is the perfect God. The fullness of God liveth him bodily. Abideth him bodily. In Christ, you are full. So in Christ, we become the fullest incarnation of God's life in us. Okay. And it's okay for everyone. Can you quote John 3.16 in Hindi? Parmeshwar ne jagat se aisa prem rakha ki apna put de diya ta ki jo koi vishwaas kare nash na ho anand jivan prat kare. Anand jivan God himself. Not life but God himself. Anand jivan means God is anand. He is eternal one. He is unending. We seek his unending life in us. That we are changed into the form of God where we have been made in the Garden of Eden. And God said, let us make man in our own, our own image and likeness. In likeness and image, he made us, he created us. We 
again are sustained to that image. That's John 3.16. And that's the only search, am Brahmasmi. In Vedanta, the prayer is, am Brahmasmi. God, you become in me one and I become in one you. Just I, I, I just give your life, my life to you and your life may come unto me. Amen. And the Lord says, if you give me to me, I will give you to you. In uh, John's Gospel, chapter 15 or I want you to know how much we respect you and we're so glad to have you and may the Lord bless you. May God's glory be with you and everybody. Amen. And we get peace in him. And we, we may testify on lives. And the verse from Colossians chapter 1, and the hope of glory, the Lord himself live in you. Amen. Amen. That's the hope of the whole Amen. universe. Full Amen. universe. Amen. Thank you. Would, you. would you pray, say a prayer for those who are watching this program that God will reveal his son to them? Yes. Thank you, our, our living and mighty God. Thank you for your love in Jesus Christ. We bring us before you, myself and the viewers, and Father, we pray to you that as you have accomplished this great hope in my life through a testimony of my wife, Father, this testimony of today may go forth into the lives of the people, may touch their heart, and their lies, lie, eyes are lightened, and that they may find the truth. We, Father, entrust them into your thine hand, wonderful hands, merciful hands, loving hands, and Father, incarnate yourself into their lives yes. and use them for your glory. With thanksgiving, we ask this in the wonderful, saving, and merciful name of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.